first steps in Ableton. Once you launch your Ableton, it looks more or less like this. And it could be looking like this or like this. Um, we have those two modes. This is the session view, which is for live performances and clip work. And this is the arrangement view for song creation. And the first thing you might want to do is go to your preferences and select your audio device. And now we have look and feel and audio. Let's go to audio and select audio output device. And over here you should select your sound card. Like there should be several um, sound cards available and you should get the right one over there. That's how you make sure you have sound in your system. So then you can go back to the live program and check the arrangement view over here. That's how you go to the other view. That's how you stay in the arrangement view. And you have basically two types of tracks that you get sound from audio tracks and MIDI tracks. Audio tracks is where you can drag on sounds that are already, already available as audio files. And MIDI tracks are tracks where you can put in note information and create the sound using an instrument. So let's let's quickly do something and make it more like uh, hands on. We are working at 120 beats per minute. This is our tempo at the moment and we're working with 4 beats per bar. You can click in there and change those values. So let's go here and and take out some samples. Like here is where you can browse your your computer and 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 browse some spaces on your computer, for example, a desktop or something. I have this folder prepared already over here and we can go and drag this sample from the folder. You can go to your desktop and put so, such samples on your desktop. I am dragging this sample from the folder, uh, kick, and I'm placing it on an audio track because it's an audio file. It's a WAV file, as you can see. Now I'm zooming into only one bar how am I doing this? I have this uh, locator over here and if I drag it from the right and from the left I can like cut the regions and going into this uh, gray area over here I can zoom by uh, moving up and down with the mouse while I click and hold this. That's how I zoom in and out of the project. And um, now I've dragged this kick in here already. And you can see actually, if you go to this area over here and make it bigger, you can actually see the waveform of that kick. And I know from electronic music that you always need uh, four kicks per bar. What am I doing? I'm copying this. I can copy this kick by right clicking and telling it to copy. And then I can right click and paste it click here and paste it again and click here and paste it again or what else I can do is uh, I can take this kick select the whole bar over here and tell it to duplicate and duplicate and I can actually use the short key for duplication that's um, this one and it will do that so now we have four kicks and we are going to tell the program to loop this section by activating this field. So that's our first audio track. It's playing the kick. Um, let's take a second audio file um, from the FX. Let's take a loop. Let's take this loop here and drag it onto the second area and make bigger it's a shaker it's a shaker loop i already know that and let's take over here you can adjust the volumes of the channels and i'm taking down the volume by clicking in there and dragging up and down with the mouse um, i'm leaving this at zero and i'm going down with that volume over here because i want to have it more silent a little more even this one as well because the sum of those two channels is going to the master channel. That's where everything we play here is being collected. And um, as you see, if I turn this up too loud, this will be in the red area. And we don't want to ever 
have this area appear red. So that's clipping. We want don't want to have that, so we are going down with the sum of our mass of our channels and making sure the master stays below zero decibels like this. This is where all the outputs are bundled. So um, now I'm going to cut this over here by dragging the mouse here, selecting that area, right clicking and deleting. And also I'm going to make one clip out of those four kicks by selecting them and right clicking and telling it to consolidate. Now it makes one click out of them. And I'm going to consolidate this as well. And another thing, I'm going to enter into that file and tell it over here to loop. You're quickly, you're soon going to figure out why I'm doing this. Um, so let's go back and we can actually drag this down and see both the elements. So this is now in loop mode and this sample goes into loop mode now as well. And what I can do now with loop mode, I can, I have, like this is the source sample and now I can just go here to the right end of the sample and make it as long as I want because it will always be looped. That's why this loop mode over here comes in handy from time to time. You can see I can make it longer and longer this way. That's what you can do with audio files and looping. So now we are going to check out the MIDI tracks. I'm making them smaller and the MIDI track bigger. For MIDI tracks to do something, we need an instrument. So we go to the Ableton Suite Instruments and we are taking a simple, um, well, let's take this analog instrument and drag it onto this MIDI channel over here. And you see it's loading up an instrument over here. So now this is ready to play some sound information, but we still need to tell this instrument what it has to play actually. I'm taking down the volume of the instrument a little bit and I'm calling this over here by right clicking, rename, bass. I'm calling it bass as I'm calling this kick and this loop. So um, back to the bass field, we have a MIDI instrument as well already on top and now we are selecting a region, this region over here and we are right clicking in the top of that region, not in the bottom but in the top and then we got the option insert MIDI clip. And that's what we are going to do. Now we have a MIDI clip inserted over here. And as we double click into it, we get this field down here, this field of the piano roll. Let's make this bigger by going into this area over here where the mouse changes to this sign and dragging that up. And you see we are getting a piano, a piano roll. And now as we are playing a bass over here, we can zoom into that area just the way we can zoom over here with, the, with that sign of the mouse. We can also do that over here by then moving our mouse while clicking and holding. I'm going to select this note, double click in here. Double clicking cre creates a note and I can hold and drag it longer. And if I activate this field over here, it's will, it will play them once I mark them. So I'm going to take this down here because it's a bass. So now I'm finished, I can go back. This is the piano roll view. I can click here and go to the instrument view and see the entire arrangement and as you see, it's looped already over here, so I can drag it longer, like this, and make it just as long as the rest of the elements. Take down the volume a little bit and play all of them together by hitting this knob or hitting the spacebar.
Well, that already sounds quite interesting. Let's make some slight chord preparations. So this is repeating every bar now. I want to make four bars of different MIDI information. So I'm marking all of it, right-clicking, consolidate. And now it has done four times the same thing for me. I'm going to click loop again. And now I'm going to make a, a, a slight bass melody by dragging this to um, this note, dragging this down, and leaving this for now. I go back to the instrument device, and I can have a look as well over here. And in the instrument, don't bother, just turn down the frequency a little bit. It sounds a little nicer if we do that. And go back here. Adjust the volume a little bit up. So let's make a, a quick pad with another MIDI instrument on that fourth MIDI channel. We are going to uh, select the operator for this. And we are using just the operator. We are dragging it here from the instruments. We selected instruments and went to the operator over here and we dragged it onto this MIDI channel. And now what we are going to do is uh, we are going to turn down the volume a little bit and we are going to copy this MIDI clip. Right click, first rename it and call it Base. And now we are going to copy this MIDI clip by Clicking it, holding, depending on your system, the control on Windows or the Alt key on Mac. And we are dragging it here, we are copying it. See the mouse has a plus down there. And we are renaming it and calling it Pad by right clicking. So now click into the MIDI clip, double clicking in here, and we have this view. But we are going to make it more clearly visible what we are doing by taking up the level of the second oscillator over here a little bit and selecting a square maybe square eight or something like this let's listen in before we turn down the volume a little bit Now we are going in, we are going into this piano roll and let's select the G, drag it along, and the D sharp, and the C, double click and drag it along. If I hit the space bar, it's playing. So now um, I'm copying this by selecting them, holding Alt and Control on Windows, Alt on Mac. And I'll take this down with the uh, arrow key. Copy those. Holding the Alt key. Again, copy those and go down with this a little bit. And now we have our chords prepared for the pad. Okay, now we can go back to the instrument view over here and turn this down a little bit again and turn this down a little bit and maybe right click and give this a nice other different color. Play everything together. So we made a simple, simple tune in Ableton with our first steps over here. We can take the volume down a little bit and now you can tweak with effects, for example. Once you have an audio instrument playing MIDI notes over here, you can go to the audio effects and maybe select some nice effects that you can drag onto the MIDI channel. For example, let's take a reverb 
over here, drag it behind our MIDI instrument like this. And now we should hear some reverb echo kind of sound. We are dragging up the decay time to three seconds maybe. And now we should hear some echo sound on our pad. Let's see if that really happens. Yeah, it works. Anyways, um, this is how you start with Ableton. That's very basic, basic Ableton usage. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Check our other tutorials. We have a lot more. And subscribe to our channel and see you next time. Bye.